How's it everybody? Welcome back to the Rocky Fern. My name is Luca and I have OI Type 4. And in today's episode of Show Me the Green, we're checking out a very cool Hoya. This is Hoya Platycalis. Let's get into it. All right guys, so here it is. This is my Hoya Platycalis. It is being kept outdoors, so it has suffered some of the brunt um, high winds that we've had the last few weeks and the tremendous amount of rain that we've been getting this past winter. It's kind of crazy, but uh, it's going pretty strong. I would like it to look a little bit better than it is, but um, I think in about six months it would have recovered from transplant shock and then also come back from this pretty harsh winter. But Hoya platycala, such a cool Hoya. So it definitely has kind of like a Micabilis, a Medinifolia um, style leaf, even like a Discipule Solocensis type leaf. I really love these long pendant style strap like leaves. Kind of reminds me of a pendant um, anthurium. Very thin, a uh, little bit like a multiflora, but it gets its name platycalus from the fact that it has flat stems. So platy means flat and callus is stem. And I'll post some close-ups right here of the stem. They grow out real flat-like. I'm not sure what the um, evolutionary advantage is for that plant to have flat stems, uh, but as the plant gets more mature, the stems actually kind of get more round. And, but all the new growth, as far as I know, does come out pretty flat. It's got really cool flowers, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do a plant profile on this guy. Kind of has a green um, corona with a kind of a creamy yellow, kind of creamy white corolla, um, kind of with some pink highlights to it. And I couldn't de discern a smell. Um, it is midday here. I will try smelling it again right early in the morning see if there is a smell to it. Um, but yeah, it's got a beautiful Hoya um, typical flower. Um, the peduncle on this has, I don't know, a dozen different flowers on it. Um, and it did try to um, throw out a peduncle when it was about half this size earlier on, but then I transplanted it. Um, speaking of the transplant mix, it is kept in 100% pure cocoa chunk with a little bit of slow release fertilizer. Um, I'll show you some close-ups here of the moss and the algae that's growing on top. These pots are an Amazon buy. I'll have the link in my um, description. Um, I like them so far. They, they've held up really well to the strong wind and whatnot. We'll have to see how they do to a lot of UV exposure. But so far, the plastic's still pretty supple. It's not brittle. Um, it's kind of nice that way. Like I said, it is still recovering from transplant shock. Um, and you can kind of tell that um, just by the overall appearance of it. But it's, I think it's doing well. It's coming back. It's got strong roots. I can see roots throughout the medium. And then um, as far as where this plant naturally occurs, it is a Philippine endemic. So it, it does occur within the country of the Philippines. Um, it's a beautiful endemic and it used to be a pretty rare find, although like a lot of plants post um, the plant boom, they're a lot more readily available than they used to be. So um, I would imagine that you could get a plant this size for under $100, um, if not cheaper. And it's only going to get better as far as I would say. They do appreciate a lot of humidity, um, but like most Hoya, they want that dry wet cycle or dry moist cycle in their roots, um, but they do appreciate a lot of humidity. All right guys, so this is Hoya Platycala. Such a cool Hoya. Really glad to show it off in this episode of Show Me the Green. Definitely recommend it in your collection. If you like what you see, make sure to give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.